Good evening. Today is Friday, July 23, 2021 here in Cebu City. I'm Chari Coronel and this is South Star Tonight. The Department of Health has confirmed local transmission of the Delta variant in the country. Local government units are urged to ramp up their vaccination and prioritize the senior citizens and persons with comorbidities. Kenneth Torres reports. The Department of Health has warned the public to avoid unnecessary travels and gatherings and adhere to the health protocols now that the local transmission of the Delta variant is seen in the country. DOH said clusters of Delta variant cases were seen to be linked to other local cases indicating local transmission. This was confirmed through the phylogenetic analysis conducted by the University of the Philippines Philippine Genome Center and case investigation by the DOH Epidemiology Bureau and the Regional and Local Epidemiology surveillance unit. With this, local government units are urged to shorten the duration of case detection to isolation, immediately isolate symptomatic patients, ramp up their vaccination and prioritize the senior citizens and persons with comorbidities. Among the measures taken is to ensure that there are enough COVID-19 dedicated beds in regular wards, intensive care units, and temporary treatment and monitoring facilities, especially in areas experiencing case spikes. The government is also preparing for enough supplies of COVID-19 medicines, oxygen tanks, and critical care equipment in hospitals as well as augmenting the medical workforce. Meanwhile, the Cebu City Emergency Operations Center said that the city is equipped in case the COVID-19 cases in the city continue to rise. City Councilor Joel Garganera, who heads the EOC, said that they augmented the number of contact tracers now and more barangay isolation centers are set to be opened. There are currently 426 active contact tracers in Cebu City. Around 4 BICs and 500 bed capacities are also set to be reactivated to cater to patients with COVID-19. As of July 22, there are 47 cases of the Delta variant with 3 deaths and 8 active cases in the country. Of the 47, 23 are local cases and 24 are returning overseas Filipinos. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. President Rodrigo Duterte has approved the expansion of travel restrictions to include travelers coming from Malaysia and Thailand starting July 25 until July 31. Those with travel history to Malaysia and Thailand within the last 14 days preceding arrival in the Philippines are also covered by the restrictions. However, those who are already in transit may still be allowed to enter the country but will be required to undergo full 14-day quarantine period despite a negative RT-PCR test result, while Filipinos on repatriation and special commercial flights are exempted but they have to follow the prescribed testing and quarantine protocols. Malaysia and Thailand join eight other countries covered by the restrictions until July 31, namely Indonesia, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, United Arab Emirates, and Oman. The new restrictions were approved after the Department of Health confirmed local transmission of the Delta variant. of Sambuan is under a six-day hard lockdown started today due to the increasing COVID-19 cases. Kenneth Torres reports. Starting today, a hard lockdown is implemented in seven barangays of the municipality of Sambuan until July 28. The municipal government decided to restrict the movement of residents due to the increasing COVID-19 cases in these areas. Mayor Emerito Calderon Jr. issued Executive Order No. 25, which restricts the movement of residents due to the increasing COVID-19 cases in barangays Bato, Bonbon, Kulase, Suba, Dalahikan, Publasyon, and Tangbo. Based on the EO, residents from the upland barangays will not 
be allowed to enter the coastal areas during this period. Business establishments will be closed, except for pharmacies, money remittance centers, and convenience stores. Tourism sites will also temporarily shut down, while churches cannot hold masses, weddings, and baptisms. Eateries and public market will also be off limits to the public. Any mass gatherings, sports activities, and non-essential travel will not be allowed during this period. The municipal government has assured that it will distribute food and medicines to all affected residents. It has already ordered the town police to monitor the movement of residents to ensure safety and peace and order. Based on the latest update issued by the Rural Health Unit, active COVID-19 cases in the town have reached 24. Kenneth Torres, Sun Star Tonight. The Lapu Lapu City Government has opened its first ever hotel vaccination site at the Waterfront Airport Hotel and Casino in Mactan. Mayor Jonard Chan said Waterfront offered free use of the area and committed to shoulder the pay and meals of the medical team to be deployed in the vaccination site and light refreshments for all the vaccinees. During the launching, senior citizens were inoculated with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This is the fifth vaccination site in the city. Other vaccination sites are in the City Auditorium, Hoops Dome, Island Central Mall, and Mactan Newtown. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph, follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Chari Coronel. Thanks for watching Sunstar tonight. See you again next week. Good night.